and Kimmy and I'm back with another video and today we are going to be making Rotel or Rotel dip or cheese dip or whatever you want to call it y'all just gonna have to ignore the washing machine because my brother washing clothes and I can't do nothing about it but I'm just going to tell you everything you need you're gonna need some ground beef I have two of these because I like a lot of meat beef broth minced garlic minced onion onion powder garlic powder obviously rotel i have two cans of these one of them is in the cup y'all gonna find out why in a minute um salt and pepper parsley and milk so i'm just gonna you also need a crock pot, a blender or an immersion blender, and a pan. Oh, and your chips. So I have like Doritos and I have some uh, tortilla chips. So, yeah. So I'm going to start by pouring my beef broth in my pan just enough to cover the surface of the pan. Then I'm going to season my beef broth with onion powder, garlic powder. I'm going to throw some minced onions in there and salt and pepper. Okay, so then after that we're adding our ground beef directly into this fluid or this liquid okay I'm gonna put this beef on the eye on medium high heat and let it cook okay y'all so we have the meat cooking I have my immersion blender plugged in and I have a cup of Rotel I also have more Rotel here because once I blend this down it's gonna be little to nothing the reason I blend my Rotel is because I don't like chunks in my Rotel, so. I'm putting the rest of it in there. Y'all, I usually only use maybe like a can and a half. I usually don't, I put both cans in there and blend both cans, but I usually don't eat both cans in there. I only usually do about a can and a half. It just looked like spaghetti sauce now. It's, it's done. And that's how I like my Rotel in my Rotel because I don't like, I'm a, I'm a texture girly. I don't like biting into different textures. And that soft cooked uh, tomato and chili. Mm -mm, I can't, girl. Okay, I just want to, I just want to show y'all my crock pot. <laughs> if y'all can find one like this with the, the ceramic, the brown ceramic on the inside. Are just ceramic on the inside from like the 70s get it this this crap pot is older than me best crap pot ever best crap pots i have three of them three um so yeah i'm gonna start putting my velveta in my crock pot with a little bit of milk so this crock pot is actually warm because i had it plugged up and i also i just put a little milk in the bottom just a little my Velveeta is already sliced in chunks, so. And I'm gonna plug her back up when we're done with this. I'm gonna pour a little bit of the Rotel in there too. Do y'all see how it's no chunks? None. Some of this Rotel is gonna go directly in the meat when it start cooking too. The reason I break my cheese up is because it melts better and quicker. Look tip, if you cut your cheese up, it will melt quicker, okay. Do not play with me. Y'all, please don't play with me and try to get milk and dip. Please don't do it. Um, Rotel or something. Or your, or your, the brand of milk or whatever. But please do not play with me and try to get milk and dip instead of Velveeta. Get Velveeta. Real Velveeta. You will thank me later because milk and dip tastes like straight away. It's don't do yourself. Now, this to me is the secret ingredient in my Rotel. But I'm telling y'all because... It doesn't need to be a secret. And I'm going to tell y'all where I got from. When I was in fourth grade, I had Rotel. This was my first time ever having Rotel with parsley in it. And it was just so good. And, like, I spent my lifetime trying to figure out what the little green flakes was. No, I didn't spend a long time. It literally took me about a week. 
and I was just like, oh, it was parsley. Like once it, it like it said, we were just like, oh, I know what it was. So be generous with your parsley. Be generous because you don't want it to get lost in there. You know, parsley is not a very strong flavor, but that flavor in your rotel hits a different, y'all. Trust me. Trust me, y'all. Like, look at her. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna plug her back in. So she's she melting already because she was, like I said, she was warm. But I'm gonna plug her back in, put a little more milk in her, and plug her right back in so she can start melting by the time my meat done. She be ready to go. Uh huh. Okay, y'all, as y'all see, this meat is looking kind of soupy. That's how it's supposed to be looking because you did add liquid in, liquid comes out of your meat. But you want to go in, you want to break it up. And this is also the point that you want to add your rotel into your meat. And the reason is because with that rotel in your meat, it's going to flavor your meat like the rotel, but you ain't going to have all that actually in the rotel because you're going to pour a lot of this off. I know that meat was still a little pink, y'all, but I'm going to boost the heat so it's really going to boil a lot of the, the water out. And the reason you want it to still kind of be pink when you put it in there is because it honestly... um helps the flavor absorb in. So y'all see, I'm going in, I'm breaking up all the big chunks. You see how just since that heat went up, all of it's like brown now. You ain't seeing no, hardly no pink chunks. That's because the meat really was mostly cooked. Okay, as y'all see, I have drained most of the liquid off of the meat, so I'm just giving it like a good little hit in the pan. Just checking and making sure nothing else in here is pink, it shouldn't be. This is where we're going to add a little bit of salt, just a little bit, and a little bit of pepper. A dash of parsley. I know it seems like we added a lot already, but just having that parsley cooked into the meat does something to it. I don't know. But I didn't put a lot in the meat. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I have my crock pot with my stuff in it. And I have my hot meat. And I'm telling y'all the meat is hot because, baby, it's smoking out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna put a squirt of minced garlic in it just because I think it could be a little more garlicky. Yeah, I always try to break up the bit, I always try to break up the bit pieces in my meat just because I don't be wanting nobody like going in just picking out the big chunks of meat. So now I'm gonna tell y'all the best rotel I ever had, it had like hibachi steak in it, it was so good. Also, um. I like rotel with shrimp, but this is just, and I also like rotel with like sausage, like breakfast sausage, but this is just um, ground beef. So I'm just gonna be putting it in there, a spatula at a time, while it's still hot, you guys. The reason why I say while it's still hot is because putting that hot meat on top of this already, I'm turning my uh, crop out to high, because it was on low. But putting that already, the hot meat on top of the already hot uh, cheese and crock pot just helps it melt quicker. So now, if I wasn't on video, I probably would just dump this whole thing over in here. But well, I'm gonna do it. That's why I didn't want to, cause I just don't want to block it out with the pan. But y'all can wait a second. Also, I'm not sitting my hot pan on the counter. I have um, a trivet now, so that's what I'm sitting my hot pan on. And we're just going to stir this hot meat 
into this cheese. Now, if it seems too thick, you can add more milk. You still have chunks of cheese in your rotel. You want, when you finish pouring your milk, you want it to be slightly thicker than what you're going to want your rotel to be because that cheese still has to melt. Try to wipe down your sides good with your spatula. Now I'm, gonna put a, now I'm gonna put a top on this just to keep all the heat in and go ahead and melt that cheese down. Hey y'all, so my rotel is done. Um, I basically just cleaned up while I waited on this to get done. I probably could have recorded me cleaning, but I actually put the battery on the charger. So I can record another video right after this. So I'm not gonna eat a lot of rotel, but we are gonna taste it for you guys. I'm doing Doritos. Yeah, my uncle, no, my aunt just told me yesterday that it's something in Doritos that make the yellow dye, I think is what she said, that make like mice turn transparent. Like you can see through them. The not the Doritos, but like the yellow dye that they use in Doritos. So if y'all look up and I'm see-through, girl, it is what it is. Okay, so y'all see how my rotel does not have them like big chunks of tomato and chili and all of that up in there. I don't like it. I don't like biting into that. But it still has the flavor, y'all. That's what's important, the flavor. Mm. That's so good. I feel like I got Dorito between my teeth. Um... If y'all try my rotel, which is it's pretty basic rotel, it's just like a few little tweaks. If y'all try my rotel, let me know how y'all liked it. The, um, I also like it with the spicy nacho chips, so good. Um, do not, um, I already told y'all, but one, do not skip the beef broth. Two, do not try to play with milk and dip. Get Velveeta every time. Three, do not skip the parsley unless you're allergic because the parsley just adds a different flavor profile to it and it'd be so good, y'all. Um, this is also good with uh, like a sausage, it's good with like steak, it's good with shrimp, it's good with chicken. Whatever protein you choose to put, it's gonna taste good with this. Like, do not play with me. I'm sorry, I recommend mean, if you lactose intolerant that you don't eat this because you're gonna be a little tootie booty because it's cheese, milk. Lots of dairy. I almost made fried rice for y'all today, but I didn't feel like doing it. And I've been wanting to rotate for the last four days, so. That's what I got some Kimmy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification bell, ding, so you can't be notified when I drop another video. And I'm out. Thanks for watching. Love you lots. But I'll be back to hold you down. I don't want to leave you, baby, dear, dear, baby, dear.